Welcome to this video guys. Thanks for tuning in and sharing in this now message, this now moment. Um, if you haven't seen these videos, welcome, welcome back. If you have, my intention is unity and oneness and the highest levels of love light. I just want to go into a little flow. Um, I want to just a little quick energy update. I'll go back and forth. A lot of, um, a lot of people have been talking with me about a lot of strange ascension symptoms. I have a lot of people um, that aren't aware necessarily of what's going on <clears throat> in the other realms or the fact that we're even in this movement, if you want to call it that, um, rather than ascension or going up, movement into expansion is what I like to kind of refer to it as, uh, rather than necessarily up leveling, but up leveling can be a fun way to look at it as well. So lots of people just really tired, you know, the huge, <laughs> the huge that many of you who are watching this are very well aware of that have been going through it for quite some time. If you're just watching this, um, I've done a lot of videos on ascension symptoms. I'll probably have to do like a, maybe a re, a refresher at some point as a recap of what they are, what they look like. But, um, I've done so many on those. I'd rather just stick with just letting you guys know that a lot of people are feeling it. So, I've also done a lot of videos about not feeling alone because so many people are going through similar experiences as to what you're going through. They just might not be aware of it. They just might not be talking about it. You know, it may not be something that they are um, recognizing. And I always, my kind of theme whenever I'm working with someone or doing these videos is acknowledgement and recognition for ourselves. Acknowledging something's going on, recognizing it, and then going from there, taking action, responsibility, using our ability to respond in that way. And sometimes action and responsibility are different and sometimes they're the same or similar. Sometimes our need to take action means um, sitting with it. Recognizing an acknowledgement to me is a form of action. We are um, sending energy to it. We're recognizing it. It's attention. Where attention goes, energy flows, that, that whole thing. So um, I did a quick video yesterday or the day, day before, and the message was primarily about um, unification. And I always am looking at this as unification with ourselves, right? We have to come into back into oneness and wholeness with ourselves, ourselves, before we're able to feel in unification and wholeness with a uh, collective, right? If that ever happens. And that's a whole other video. <laughs> so let's just flow a little bit. So that's a short burst of energy update, but I'm going to go back into it in just a little bit. A little light language. And many of us are coming into a space of self-reflection. We are looking deeper in the pools of knowingness, if you will. We are allowing ourselves to look deeper into where we have been plan words, um, be in what we are being in, what we are part of, where we have been in before. And we begin to draw this to us. We begin to come to some type of formal conclusion. Guys, a lot of the words that I use are plays on words. And so I, one of these days I'll go back and type it up and share what the real definition is, but they can be utilized in a multidimensional form of communication. So, kiwa, dini, much like light language. And so as we allow ourselves to pull back into, to pull from where we have been and we look forward, we move into a deeper set of alchemic. We move into a deeper sense of alchemy. We move into a deeper reunification with a multitude, multidimensional amplitude. We move into a multitude of multidimensional amplification of where it is that we are now. <laughs> we move into a deeper resilience and this allows us to, okay, 
I just wanted to, sometimes I get these weird words that come in. I'll have to talk about the tarantula and the spider maybe at a different time because I'm all over the place right now, but it looks like a pings on a map and I'm pinging into all these different places that I've been as I say these words. So I'm hearing the word stromboli. <laughs> And no, I'm not hungry for stromboli. It's an Italian dish. But I'm going to play with that a little bit. Or I'll come back and play with that. And what I'm hearing is stronghold. Um, I'm hearing a bolin knot. I'm seeing a hyperborean. As we allow ourselves to feel amplified, electrified, if you will, magnified, as we move into this amplification, we begin to defy old parameters in which we have seated ourselves into before, plan words. We allow ourselves to amplify, I'm being guided to break that down a little bit, break it down again. Um, so I always see like phi and pi, kind of P-H-I, golden means. Um, when I see, say the word amplify, I see us plugging into a, a box. So this can be taken in many different directions. And essentially, what box are we putting ourselves in? What are we utilizing to amplify our consciousness? Um, I'm seeing people playing um, karaoke. And I'm seeing people singing a song that's already been sung. But we're doing it in our own style. We're doing it in our own way. And that is an old pattern. It's an old, it's, it's a copycat system. It's a looping system. But this isn't necessarily a bad thing. Uh, we're being guided not to label something as bad or good. We're being guided to recognize that there can be a different, um, I'm seeing people unplugging from this. This is a kind of a collective reading, you guys, when I do these kinds of, if you haven't watched these videos before. We're being guided to unplug from one source that perhaps we felt boxed into before or shape. I'm seeing a cube, but we're moving into different shapes. I talked a little bit about that in my video yesterday, which was a little bit coded, but, um, and we're plugging into a different amplification signal. Our signal is stronger. Therefore, the type of, um, tools that we utilize, and this is all a play on words. I, if I wasn't driving, I'd be writing this down because it's easier sometimes to flow into that speed, if you will. <laughs> um, this gives us the opportunity to amplify our frequencies in an unboundless adventure. Okay, I'm being guided to play with that a little bit. I'll come back and write this down. Maybe this will be my weekend, one of my weekend projects. Out of the hundreds of videos that I've done before that I say that I'm going to write down, eventually I will. But as we play with these words, we move into symbolism, if you will. And I'm literally seeing, going back to the amplification, I'm seeing symbols. You know, the, 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 um, uh, there, there used to be this doll that was a monkey and it would play with symbols. And then I'm seeing the Energizer Bunny that walks around banging those symbols. So, wow. Okay, I just went into like such a spin, <laughs> you guys. I'm gonna go back and just kind of share what I'm seeing. Essentially what I'm, what I'm seeing in part is there's this amplification that's happening right now that seems to come from outside of us. Sorry, I had to turn off the light just for a second, but what's happening is this amplification that's coming from all around us, it is being amplified right now. And I'm hearing strike zone. So there's certain zones, okay, from a, um, a lower vantage point, we could say, from a place of duality or polarity. There are certain zones that are being um, dialed up. Right, and, and you guys fill in the blanks on what that means for you. What does that look like? Where does that look like? And I could go into so many different layers of our collective experience that are being amplified right now. And so those zones are being 
um, hit hard right now. But what I'm here seeing is us playing baseball, and we're the home. We're, this is our home. We are the heavy hitters. It's our time to make a home run, and bases are loaded. <laughs> Plan words. So what happens is our amplification is ramping up and and as above so within as within so without so as we ramp up our amplification field so does the field around us and so some of us are in those strike zones and we're feeling it okay but from another perspective we are the ones amplifying this energy therefore the only answer for this collective experience is to amplify it back because it's like oh yeah match set play so that's a good thing from one one the one perspective that means we are accelerating our abilities our functional relay sets our patterns our amp so let me go back to the symbols what I'm being shown is there's a lot of symbolism that has been in a looping pattern that we've utilized over and over again. Monkey see, monkey do. But I'm being called to the hundredth monkey effect. All of a sudden it takes one person, and I'm not comparing people to monkeys, even though they've, it's been said that they are part of our um, DNA or you know part of our evolution. But what I am saying is that's a symbol. The Energizer bunny walking around that keeps it's going and going and going, playing the same symbols over and over again, that's being amplified right now. And a lot of the symbols that we've been using are being thrown back at us. And I'm hearing the boomerang effect. And so this is also a, so a symbol in this, even in this sentence, that what we're sending out is coming back to us amplified. So we're really being called to be very aware acknowledge, recognize where we're at and what we're sending out into the field and what we're accepting as part of our reality. And that's, I could go into another layer there. So what I'm being shown is in order to clear out what's being amplified by the masses, we have to continue to amplify our own consciousness field or our own field of what we are consciously co-creating and that's really the biggest message right now so i'll go back into it um quiet time is really recommended right now is what i'm hearing so what does that look like it looks different for everyone you guys there's not necessarily one way of being quiet and some people would argue that but that's not why I'm sharing this. Um, my, the way that I look at things and my purpose of things is very open. So I work with many different people and if I just share one method, one method doesn't work for everyone. That's just my perspective. And some people may, may have a different perspective. Awesome. <laughs> um, and part of this is us recognizing that, you know? And I'm hearing, um, oh, so, whew. I had to take a deep breath. So much is coming in right now, you guys. And this is a perfect example. There's so much that's coming in right now that's been lost in the shuffle that there's people that are shuffling around still lost in the shuffle. They're the Energizer Bunny. They've got the sunglasses on. They look really cool. They, they're making a lot of noise. They think they've got all this stuff to share and offer. And they don't necessarily realize that they're in a 